Yo, what up? It's your boy Fizz coming at you from the west side of the 509, and you're watching Soulrific Magazine. See, I ain't feeling shit, man. I ain't even get high. Oh shit, hold up, wait a minute, yo. I think I can fly. I can't remember why I ever let Mary J go away. Seems like when I kiss her, she says everything's gonna be okay. And those pretty green eyes make me feel so damn alive. All them crystals and diamonds got you shining, girl. You so fly. I'm so high, yeah, baby. I'm so high, yeah, yeah. You so fly, baby, baby. You so fly, yeah, yeah. I'm so high, yeah, baby. I'm so high, yeah, yeah. All my smokers lighted up, we might have put one in the sky. So I'm from a small city, a small town uh, called Wapato in Washington. And uh, the way I would describe it is, is uh, I would describe it as home, right? That's where I'm from, it's where, I, it's where I stay, it's where I'm at. So, but if I had to describe it, um, you know, a lot of people would call it ghetto. A lot of people would probably say a lot of bad things about it, but I mean, it's, it's actually a, a pretty chill place to live. I mean, every now and again some crazy shit goes down, but I think that's true everywhere. And uh, for the most part, it's, 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 a, it's a cool place to stay. Yeah, shout out to everybody from 509. So I've been, uh, I've been making music since I was about uh, 14, 15 years old. The way I got started, so a couple friends that I grew up with, we all had the same passion for music. Uh, we all wanted to, to record songs. We, we all had written some songs already. And, uh, yeah, we linked up and we, we made it happen. And, uh, we've been doing it ever since, you know. And here we are today, still making music. So, I, so in my opinion, the most influential and successful rapper in my genre, I would have to say is Kendrick Lamar. Uh, he's just... Like there's no other artist like him. I mean, as far as you know, lyrically he's one of the best. Um, just the way he puts songs together is, is, is crazy. He's definitely super influential. You know, uh, a lot of the songs that he does, almost every song that he makes, you know, has some type of meaning or message behind it, and uh, I, I can really appreciate that. Like that's he's definitely an inspiration. And, and, I can't think of another artist that, that really comes close to to him on the same level, right? So, yeah, he, he's definitely one of the GOATs. And we all know he's super successful. And, and I really think that one of the main reasons he is very successful in, in what he does is, well, well, first of all, he's good at it, right? And second of all, I think, I think the fact that he, uh, he, he chooses to, to write and, and rap about things that, that a lot of people can relate to. You know, it doesn't really matter where, where the people are from. You, you can, you know, it doesn't matter where you're from. You can definitely relate to a lot of songs that he has produced. He a goat. He's one of the goats, for real. Alright, so my current thoughts on the music industry and how do I feel about it? If I'm being completely honest, the music industry right now, like more than half of the music industry right now, like the people that are popping, mainstream, there's a lot of trash, like more than half of it is trash. And it's messed up, but that's the way it is, you know? Like people don't really want to listen to a, a, a lyrical song right now. People want to listen to something that they can make a TikTok to. That is messed up, but that's what it is, right? The way I separate myself from other artists, or how I how I am different, how I feel that I am different, is um, I, I try things that that I think maybe a lot of other artists wouldn't try. Like for example, you know, recently I I, I released a couple Spanish songs. You know, I, uh, I wrote. And recorded two, two of them and the rest of the Spanish songs that I did are covers. Another thing is that I, I really try to create songs that, that mean something and I also try to rap in a way that I think that maybe a lot of people can't. You know I take pride in, in writing a verse and, and recording it and it might have been a little difficult for me to record it because Maybe it was a little fast, it was, you know, whatever it might have been. Who influenced my style? 
there's a lot of a lot of artists that, that I've listened to over the years and a lot of really good good ones like for 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 sure I can say you know Ludacris was a big inspiration and, and a big uh, influence in my in my rap especially when I first started and uh, definitely Bone Thugs and Harmony man like man I, I was first time I heard Bone Thugs it was just like blew my mind you know like I just was like nobody else sounds like this or is doing this and the people that were trying to do that and, and duplicate that were not successful you know because it was just their own thing you know and I was so influenced by them that well actually me and my homies were so influenced by them that we, we all grew out our hair you know we braid it up pick it out on the first of the month and we were we were really living that that thuggish ruggish life for real. So they influenced me big time, you know, they kinda you know, Bone Thugs and Harmony kinda put that 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 want to rap fast in me, you know, and uh, yeah, big shout out to Crazy Lazy Busy Wish and Flash for sure. But that's just, you know, to name a few uh, There's too many, there's too many to name So something about music that, that really excites me Is, is just the, the process of, of, of making the song, right? Um, you know, from writing the song To recording the song I mean, you, you, you always have an idea of what, what the song is going to sound like And what you think it's going to feel like Like with the vibe is gonna be off the song, but you never really know until you record it and you listen to it. And sometimes you write a chorus and, and you record it, and you listen to it and you're like, oh, that's not at all what I thought it was gonna be, you know. So scratch that, do something else, you know. But that's something that really, that really excites me is not really knowing what it, what the end result is gonna be, and then finally getting to it at the end, and especially when it's something really good. And, and I would say the thing about making music that, that least excites me, I would say, you know, going back to um, like the current state of, of, of music, you know, I feel like, you know, a lot of people put so much work into, into making a song that really means something or, or, or you know, putting a lot of work into the lyrics, you know, and, and, and that's not really something, like I said before, that's not really something that people want to, that a lot of people want to hear right now, you know, and unfortunately, you know, so that's something that kind of discourages me a little bit, but, but nevertheless, I mean, I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing, I ain't going to change who I am, I, I ain't going to switch up for sure, you know, but it's definitely something that, that, that I definitely think is, is discouraging for sure, but like I said, you know, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. And, Okay, so what was the inspiration behind one of my one of my recent songs, So Fly? Um, with that song, you know, we, we released a, a video to that. Shout out to my little brother Wesley, he recorded that. So the inspiration behind that song was I was really trying to tell a story. If you listen to the lyrics, you know, you can really uh, hear what what it's about, you know, and uh, so the song is obviously about smoking weed, right? And, and and not only smoking weed but 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 the vibe the, the feeling and that's the, that's what the inspiration was for the song but but I really wanted to make it uh, I really wanted to tell a story with that song and, and if you check it out you, you you can definitely hear what the story is you know the whole idea behind it is that you know I quit doing this and then I got back to it and then I'm thinking like why did I ever stop doing this you know in the moment of it all so it's a dope song um y'all need to check it out if I could describe my fans in one word what would it be and why? I would have to say the one word I would use is like true or, or real, right? Because 
the reason I choose either of those words is because I feel like the people that listen to my music, they're listening to it because they like, you know, maybe the lyrics that I'm writing or, or the way that I'm rapping or whatever it is, but I feel like there's some real ass, I feel like it's some real ass people that listen to my music, you know, and, and they're relating to my music because they are real, so that's, that's the word that I choose, is real. Shout out to all the people listening to my music, man. I appreciate it for real. So if I could choose any artist to work with in the future, I would choose Kendrick Lamar. Like I was talking about earlier, you know what I mean? He's, he's, I, I feel like I feel like if I got a chance to work with somebody of that, uh, with his skill, you know, whether it was, I mean, like J. Cole, J.I.D., uh, you know, somebody that, that, that I really feel is, is, is really, really, has, they've really mastered the craft. I feel like, you know, getting to do a song with them would, would bring out the best in anybody. So I feel like if I did a song with any of those people, some of my best work would probably result from that. So, Alright, so I have uh, I have music on YouTube and SoundCloud. Uh, just look up Fizz, P H Y Z Z, and you can find you know you can find all my music on on those platforms. Got some videos on there as well, and I got some new music coming soon for sure. But definitely, I'm gonna keep them coming. You know, definitely keep some. I'll definitely keep some uh, Spanish songs coming as well. And also another thing that that I really wanna put out there is uh, me and my cousin Miggy. Shout out to my cousin Miggy again. Um, we got this podcast we're doing right now, and uh, it's called Chilling with the Compis. So that's Compis is C O M P I S. Chilling with the Compis, right? And uh, it's on YouTube. We do plan on putting it on other platforms, like audio platforms, right? And it's it's just me and my cousin chilling, you know, drinking a little beer, smoking a little weed, talking about everything that's going on in the news and, and in our lives, and you know, kind of our point of view on those things. And there's some funny, it's some funny stuff in there, and it's also maybe some things a lot of people can relate to. Uh, a lot of people might agree with things, and they might disagree with a lot of things we say as well. But I think, I think uh, it's a, it's a good time for sure. And, uh, y'all should check it out. Like I said, chilling with the funkies on YouTube. We're just getting it started, so but we got a couple videos up already, so y'all should check it out. Shout out to Soul Rific Magazine. Thank you for the time. Thank you for the opportunity. I appreciate it. Peace. adelante y queda solo vacío. Y yo no soy de la gente que siempre sigue perdiendo. Como me dijo mi padre, ocupa seguirte moviendo. Es que nadie quiere darte nada gratis en la vida. Pronto quedas en la calle a ver si así se te quita.